Oh, it's like that, huh? Hey, but foo, how does one put the yeah, little I just, I mean, I understand that there is no bolt hole in the top, but now I don't understand how it works. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving. Later, doggy. The knowledge on that bike, So guys, we're gonna, we're gonna go back to doing seats, and I know I know you guys heard me talk about seats before, but I'm gonna give you a recap. Pivotal seats. Every seat that has this little cutout pivotal, inside of that is a number six. The number six lock in, that bolt turns, then you go and you put a Don't mind the shoe. pivotal post. It goes in and it screws on. Then they also have a stealth one. Where's the SM? Where's the SM? The one right in front of you? So, oh, right here. I said right in front of him. Then we have this, which is an s and M. Five hours later, a stealth. Look at this. There's no cutout for the number six. Why? Because if you look right here, it is actually a number four. So how do you tighten this? If you got a stealth post, it does not have the pivotal hole, but it has a hole right here. So you would have to go here, put it through, like so, put the Allen key in, and go down and you tighten it up. So, okay, okay, you guys already saw that. You guys already saw that, so why are we doing this again? Well, this, this problem came up a very unique problem because our buddy right here, old school Danny. What's up, old school Danny? You gotta do it from the bottom, bro. He goes, hey, you know what? I have this purple bike and I want a seat that will match it. We're going through all the seats we have here and he can't find a seat until he goes, hey, there's a seat that I like. And I want an S&M post. All I want is an S&M post. I don't want any other kind of post. We're like, sick. Let's go, let's go, do it. This is where, you know, put the sound in that kind of like scratch Dance. record. Oh. <laughs> now then, wait a second. There's, there's no six. Oh, it's a, it's a stealth pose. But wait a second. There's, there's no stealth hole. So we have, what we have here is we have a pivotal pose and a stealth seat. But the man wants this seat, but this seat does not come in a pivotal. What do we do? Guys, I got a little trick up my sleeve for you. <laughs> Literally up your sleeve. Yeah, up my uh, Old Navy. So, I know some of you guys are gonna be like, oh, you know, like, like. So this is what you do. Steal the tri-tool. <sighs> Get yourself a very long extension. Is that three of them? Two of them. It is two with an extension, and this it is a five. Remember, the regular pivotal is six, and the stealth is a five. Five millimeter, all the extension. Put this through, and look. This goes right in. Keep in mind, you guys have probably noticed, go, wait a second, he's turning it the wrong way. That bolt is actually should have been tightened from the from the from the top of the seat. So since I'm going from the bottom, you're technically turning it the right way, but we're going from the bottom. And look. Voila! <laughs> Voila! See? The angle's a little sus, but Well, I mean that that's that's all preference, but so the next time you guys out there, you guys go see a seat you guys like, and you know what, hey, it's a stealth, but that shop doesn't have a stealth post, or vice versa, you can make it work. But you have to have a long, long ass extension. If not, I know a lot of you guys will run the post that you can just cut it and you could use one of these. But yeah, that's, that's, that's it guys. That is the trick. Bike hack. Brought to you by Epic and Old School Danny. Thank you, Old School Danny, for giving us 
that opportunity. But let me stop you right there. My OCD is going to kill me. Can you put it on the bike? I got to see what the oh, whole bike looks yeah, like. Yeah, you're going to yeah, tell me that you're yeah. going to put it on the bike. It's really yeah, cool. yep, 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 yep. So there you guys have it. Now, where is my... He took it. Max took the try. I know, but you know what? We have like 10 of them. And then we always find it at the end of the day. Can you have the five, please? Now he's not gonna be able to adjust the angle. No, that, you guys, you guys can see we're, we're we're just very professional. Well, I'm gonna put this thing on from, and then I'll give it that to you. Oh lord! Oh put yeah, a, new grease. Put a little bit of grease. I think the last time you bought new grease was when I still worked here. But a little bit of grease. You know what? Some of you guys think that oh, you wait a second. You don't want grease because it'll make the seat slip it won't make it slip the, the clamp will what i put this thing in for actually is if you don't and the rust are building up in it it's gonna stick if you don't have a joke about a black seat post going into this pink frame i swear to god foo <laughs> super hot fire i spit that Ooh. Ooh. two and Ooh. a half men i watched that oh! I thought I thought about that. I thought about that, but you know what? It's 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 even too a little obscene for me. So there you guys have it. Stealth seat on a pivotal. It can be done. How many inches of seat post would you say that is? This this I would say is kind of like double fisting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's how we leave this video. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, Max. Thanks, Danny. Okay, is anybody coming to T-bone us? Okay. Clear. What you need to change is your Epic sign. You need a new one. It's a, it's a Miata. It's an N-A Miata. It's the first generation Miata. But it's got a rocket bunny. You can't give them too much information. They, they want to see the car check next week. Okay. So, yeah, so this, uh, you know, we got some work done to this, but uh, guys, tune in. We'll cover this thing a little bit. It covers a little monster, you know, it's, you know. This is Ethan's? Max. Oh, this is Max's. Yeah, so the handlebar is going to be like that low. And the next, what the foo? Yes. yes. Well, that one's his. That's the one the Max. <laughs> Maniac Max. Dude, you should have went to the, uh, the car meet yesterday.